What's up, it's George the Fragrance Apprentice here. Now, as far as I am aware, I am allowed to do this. I am the Fragrance Apprentice and these are scented candles. I've got a big love affair with scented candles. I think that it's to do with the fact that when I was a lot younger and living in rural countryside Scotland, there would be quite a few uh, power cuts in the winter. And these power, cut, these, these power cuts would go on for like sometimes a week, uh, maybe even more. So that would be winter, it would be very dark, and we'd have to rely very much on candles. So got a big love affair for them, and I've also got a big love affair for fragrance. And as you can see behind me, I've got my fragrance cabinet, and on top are my usual four tea light candles that I have on top there. So I decided to showcase my my top five Yankee candles. So um, I've had all of these at least one before and these are my favorites. It is five to one. So yes, uh, all of them are lovely. I'm gonna tell you why I think that they're lovely and when is an ideal situation to, to light them. But to keep it fair to my regular fine fragrance viewers, I'm also going to pair these Yankee candles with um, different fragrances from my collection that remind me the most of each individual candle. They won't be exact matches, but they will be uh, fragrances that really fit the vibe. So let's start with number five. Number five is this one. This is Misty Mountains. One of the great things about um, about doing this is um, the fact that I can sort of level with you the, the descriptions that Yankee Candles sometimes give are not the most accurate. When I heard Misty Mountains, I thought, oh, it's gonna be foggy and, you know, uh, mysterious, and maybe there'd be some um, a bit of patchouli, a bit of, or maybe things like myrrh, things like incense, frankincense, labdanum, things like that, that really can create an ethereal and uh, mysterious kind of smell. This is actually not that. In fact, it's completely the other way. It's actually very outgoing and it's actually very sweet and has a hint of citrus to it. And I like it in the springtime. It's very nice in the springtime, but it, it does have vanilla. It does have a bit of amber and with, with that citrusy tone. So it's, it's, it's quite fruity and it's not as necessarily sort of introverted as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot more, you know, a lot deeper, a lot more lower in in tone but it's not it's actually quite bright it's actually quite fruity it actually the closest thing that i have to this is some a fragrance i recently reviewed that i'm actually not the biggest fan of but well like i said these are not exact parallels but what this actually reminds me in my fragrance collection is aqua de geo profundo by Giorgio Armani and the reason being is they both have that um quite bright quite um quite invigorating sweet tone however this one goes a bit fruity and a bit sort of synthetic and a bit bland but this actually keeps that tonality of sweetness very high uh, throughout the whole life of the candle of course with them being scented candles and it's all just wax there's no real development usually there can be some but with this one it's it's just what you smell is what you get which is this nice sweet ambery um, vanillic scent with a few little citrus fruity almonds. Number four is this one. This is Tropical Jungle. Now this really is as you'd imagine it to be. It's got mango, it's got coconut, it's got orange. It's very fruity. Very fruity, overly fruity. There's also a lot of strawberry in here. It feels like, um, oh god, we had these uh, sweets in, um, in England, uh, Starburst. Yeah, it's basically like you're eating a strawberry starburst. Starburst. In fact, literally, as I said that, I could feel my tongue swell up because those things were really, really, really bitter. <laughs> so my my tongue became a little bit afraid there for a minute. But yeah, it's like a really zesty strawberry starburst-like sweet, a lot of sugar. But it also has coconut, uh, a healthy amount of coconut and mango. It's the whole nine yards. You know, they, they said that they were going to give you a tropical jungle. They have given me a tropical jungle. One of the things that I really like about this one is that it's so lovely having this outside in the summer at sunset and all your mates around and you're having a barbecue, something like that. It's a really, really thick um, smell, really, really strong. And in the summertime and outdoors, 
you know, with the sunset, with a load of friends over, maybe for a garden party or whatever us British people do, or more likely a barbecue, this can really, really set the tone and it's fantastic for that. So uh, I really enjoy it um, for when it's outside or just in general outside in summertime. It's a lovely, lovely candle to have. No question to me what this reminds me of in my fragrance collection, Lebeau by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is basically a tropical beach party, which also has such elements like coconut, mango, and orange. So very, very obvious to me, very, very close parallels. They certainly do actually smell very similar. Number three, this one is Seaside Woods, but it doesn't smell anything like Seaside Woods. I know, I used to live by the seaside. <laughs> This does not smell like seaside woods in any fraction <laughs> of the of the word. Um, it actually smells more like orange and ginger. In fact, really, it smells like a gingerbread house, which is nice, which is lovely. And um, I really do enjoy that. So it has this kind of like, it, it also has like this cake dough kind of smell. I think that's the amber, a lot of amber in here. And it has this cookie dough-like vibe in amongst the ginger and the orange, and it's very pleasant. It is more like a bakery or a bakery treat or a cookie or something along those lines than anything to do with the seaside or anything to do with woods. There's a bit of woodiness, but it's more this ambery dough smell. But with that, with that orange, but with that orange and that ambery bakery kind of smell, it actually really, really reminds me of Angel Men Ultra Zest, which is pretty much exactly what I just described. It's a very, very strong citrusy orange smell, but with a lot of bakery smells around it. It's very, very beautiful. The only thing um, that I'd say is that, yeah, this one has a lot more levity. This one's a lot stronger, and this one does have a more ambery, woody element. My number two is this one. This one is absolutely gorgeous, and the reason being is that it invokes the scent of jasmine it's very jasmine heavy and i love jasmine and you know as a perfume collector and as a perfume lover um jasmine is like one of the ancient notes as jeremy fragrance uh, calls them as in notes that have been used you know since the beginning of perfumery and jasmine is one of them and it has a very uh, regal and very classic kind of scent, you can find it very prom prominently in fragrances such as Chanel Number no. 5, Chalamar by Guerlain, and it is that kind of old school regal smell that has never ever really sort of gone out of fashion, and um, it's just amazing. So that's what this is, this is basically a tribute to those types of classic fragrances in my estimation, and so it creates this lovely jasmine aura with a little bit of amber um, in there as well, and a tiny bit of vanilla. Most of these candles have amber and vanilla, that's just kind of like something they have to do to create the, the deep ambience in a room. You know, you have to have those larger molecules so that you can, you know, literally scent the scene and scent the room. So, but that working off with uh, j jasmine it's just absolutely fantastic. I don't have too many jasmine heavy fragrances, but this did remind me specifically of one fragrance that I own that I actually got very recently. In fact, I'm now starting to wonder if I liked this fragrance because it reminded me of this candle. However, this fragrance that's coming up here actually reminds me of a lot of different great fragrances that I've had, and I don't think it's because it's trying to copy any single one of them. I think it's actually more to do with the fact that this fragrance really, really does use a lot of many classical um, fragrance compositions and so much so that it just becomes an incredible classic timeless thing. This is Danger by Roche Dove, Danger Parfum by Roche Dove and that jasmine note with the, um, the foggier kind of uh, mystique that this fragrance has really really reminds me of Midsummer's Night so it's uh, really quite special in that way. So moving from jasmine to another classical note that's used in perfumery a tremendous amount, patchouli. This is my number one favorite Yankee candle that they've ever made. This is Autumn Glow. This is a candle that I've had four years in a row in autumn. I just love it. It wouldn't really be awesome anymore if I didn't own this candle. This is so great with the patchouli and of course the traditional amber and vanilla 
but there's also some other uh, woods I actually get a little bit of hyrax which is probably not <laughs> something that they've used but I get that sort of sweetness um, that hyrax resin uh, can have and it's it's lovely it also reminds me a little bit of burning fires and things like that it's got a lot of elements that are so traditional to autumn such as you know burning log fires um, the smell of leaves on the ground there's also a little bit of greenness in here which really brings it all together it's phenomenal it's a fantastic composition and i love love having this um in those uh, those autumn days and nights when everything is orange outside and it's getting a bit cooler getting a bit colder this just warms everything up and creates the perfect ambience so with that heavy patchouli which it is and that sort of it's almost going on to be like a sort of a tar like amber and leather um, nothing too too over the top but it's it's very lovely it actually reminds me of a fragrance that what's funny about it is I, I don't wear it that much I love the smell but I don't actually wear it that much and that can happen some people enjoy the smell of fragrances but they'd rather just have a like a, a, a scent candle of it they like the smell but they wouldn't want to wear it and that for me is this reminds me very much of Van Cleef and Arpels Midnight in Paris the ED T version, I believe. I think this is the EDT. I can never remember. Yes, it is the EDT version. I have both. <laughs> I have the EDT and I have the EDP somewhere as well. But the ED they are quite different. But yes, this is the EDT of Midnight in Paris, and these two are very, very similar. So, very lovely and just phenomenal. So, that is my Yankee Candle collection and my top five. Just a disclaimer um, here also. If you're planning on buying Yankee Candles, this is very unusual for me to have like five Yankee Candles uh, all at once, burning all at once. That's very unusual and actually that's quite unhealthy and it's not recommended at all because all, as lovely as they are, there are some, there, there, there's a lot of stuff in, in Yankee Candles that aren't the most healthiest of things to be breathing in. So I usually only have one Yankee Candle going at one time and I have it on, you know, on sporadically and uh, you know, I'll have a window sort of open as well because they're great, they're lovely, they set the scene but please bear in mind that they are not the healthiest thing to have in your house. Just going to put that out there as a bit of a disclaimer. Anyway, hope that you enjoyed this different video and uh, hope that you got some new information out of it and some new ideas. Anyway, thanks so much. I'm the Fragrance Press and I will see you tomorrow.